Bedbug Central always recommends that you hire a knowledgeable pest control professional to assist you in your bedbug control efforts. The do-it-yourself or DIY series of videos are intended to provide people who can't afford to hire a knowledgeable professional or purchase products mentioned in our other videos the best possible methods to better their situation in regards to bedbugs. Please be aware that attempting to control bedbugs on your own comes with the potential to worsen your problem and cost you more money in the future. Bedbug control can be very difficult and is best left up to pest control professionals. If you have any questions about the information contained in these videos, please email Jeff White at jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And what I want to talk about in our first episode of our Do It Yourself series is using the sun's energy or solar heat to kill bed bugs on or in different items. You know, this is not something that we typically recommend. So what happens is that in the warmer months or in the summer months in the area that you're in, a lot of people, you know, take a look at the sun or the inside of their car and they say, wow, you know, the temperatures get really hot in my car. And I know that heat can be very effective against bed bugs. And in fact, once you get above 120 degrees and you hold that temperature for a set amount of time, usually more than about a half hour, that can actually be lethal to bed bugs and their eggs. And so people get into their car in the summer months and say, wow, it's well over 120 degrees in here. Why can't I take items and put them in my car or take items wrapped in black plastic and put them out in the yard in the summer sun, heat those items up and kill bed bugs associated with those items. Now, this is again, not something that we typically recommend. You know, my concern with this technique is if it's not done properly, you can either A, not kill the bugs that are associated with those items, or B, if you're putting items in your car, you could actually end up infesting the interior of your car. I'm sure there are cold spots somewhere in the automobile that doesn't get to 120 degrees, and the bugs may find those spots avoiding the heat, thus now you infested your car. So again, we do not typically recommend that, and if you can go about this any other way, you may want to consider doing that. Now, if you have to go this way, there are a couple things that you should keep in mind when you're trying to use the sun's heat to kill bed bugs and items. The first thing you want to consider is that you don't want to overpack any bags that you fill to be placed in the sun. The more a bag is packed, the harder it's going to be to get the heat through that bag. So you want to make sure they're, they're packed you know, sparingly and if you are in fact heating them, you may want to go and stir those bags up every so often to make sure the heat is penetrating all the different items in that bag. Now, if you're taking that bag and putting it in a car, you may want to double or triple bag it. You know, you could put a bag in a car and there could be a hole that you don't even see in that bag. And then as that bag is heating up, the bug runs out of the hole in that bag and then infests the car. So you want to make sure that you maybe possibly put several bags, you know, in place. So that way, if God forbid one does have a hole, maybe the next one doesn't. That way you avoid infesting your, your car. You also want to make sure that in any bag, no matter where you put it, you want to make sure you put some sort of temperature sensor inside that bag. Usually you can buy one of the indoor-outdoor thermometers that has the little wire that you can stick outside. Well, you might want to take that wire and put it in the closed bag. And then that way, and then take that little uh, temperature reading, whatever screen, and put it outside of the car. And that way you can constantly monitor that temperature in that bag. And you know that it got above 120 degrees. That way you know bed bugs, if you left it for long enough, did end up dying, bed bugs and their eggs. Now, so that's really my biggest concern when it comes to cars. You want to make sure that you're putting multiple bags in place. That way if one has a hole, a bug doesn't escape. And you want to make sure you have a probe in place to make sure the temperature gets to where you need it to be. Now, in regards to the yard, what you want to do is if you're going to take something, wrap it up in pla black plastic and put it out in the yard in direct sunlight, you want to make sure you get that item up off the ground. Because if it lies on the ground, that ground is going to be a constant source of cold temperatures. And so if the item is resting against the ground, where the item touches the ground, even though there's a bag there, it's going to actually create a cold spot. There was actually a study done on this. So it definitely does create a cold spot. So you might want to get maybe some horses um, that you work on, such as in a wood shop, to support those items up off the ground, or you could even use chairs or whatever the case may be. You just want to make sure you get the items up off the ground so it's not getting cold temperatures from the ground and then leave it in place for as long as you possibly can. 
You also want to do the same thing I recommended in the car situation. You want to get a temperature probe, stick it in that bag that's up off the ground and make sure you're monitoring that temperature. And again, you want to make sure it gets well above 120 degrees if you can and you want to hold it for at least a half hour once it hits 120. And in actuality, you want to hold it for as long as you possibly can. When we do heat treatments, even though the temperature inside an area can read say 130, we know that it takes time for those temperatures to penetrate the interior of those items. So you really want to hold it for as long as you can. So that way it gives time for that heat to work through all the items in that bag and get as deep into those items as you can. Alright everybody, so real quick you want to make sure you don't overpack the bags. You want to make sure if you're putting them in the car that you're putting several bags in place in case there's a hole that you don't see. If you're putting the bags in the yard, you want to make sure they're in the direct sunlight and up off the ground, however you can get them there. And then no matter where you're doing this, you want to make sure you have a temperature probe inside the bags that you can monitor at all times. You want to make sure the items get to at least 120 degrees. And once they do that, you want to make sure you hold them for as long as you possibly can to give that heat a chance to penetrate the bag and get as deep into those items as you can. Alright everybody, so that's our first episode in the do-it-yourself series uh, using the sun's energy or solar heat to kill bed bugs. Again, not something that we typically recommend, but if you're you know, up against a bad situation and you need to possibly do that, those are the things that you need to consider to do it as effective as you possibly can. Alright, if you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Please email me any questions you have about this topic or any other topic in the do-it-yourself series or in Bedbug Central TV as a whole. Alright everybody, I'll see you soon enough.